Today we're going to be showing you how to remove and replace your Dodge Ram 4th Gen large glass on your OEM tow mirrors. At the time of filming this video, this procedure is for all 4th Gen trucks as well as 5th Gen trucks through model year 2020. For a detailed list of all applications, please reference our website at BoostAutoParts.com. This procedure can be performed on the vehicle as well as on the bench. The first thing you want to do is angle the smaller glass all the way in towards the truck, then angle the large glass all the way in towards the truck. Next, put both hands as close to the center mount as possible. Just pull back on the glass until it snaps off. Then disconnect any wires on the back side of the glass here. Looking at the back of your glass, you'll have one of two different options. On the left, we have motor type A, which has four cutout holes on it. On the right, we have motor type B, which has eight total cutout holes on it. Here you can see a diagram that lays out both motor types as well as the aftermarket motor type as if the mount was still on the mirror to help you determine which one you have. Now if you have motor type A, you will take a screwdriver and pry it around the lip of the mount on the back side of the glass as shown here. Now if you have motor type B shown here, you will want to locate the small gap at the top side of the mount. Just insert the screwdriver and twist to release it. Once that release, you'll insert the screwdriver in the bottom side and slightly pry up on the mount so it fully slides off freely. Please note, do not discard these mounts as you will need them going forward. Snapping the glass mount on will be the same for both versions of that mount. On the back side of your mount, you'll have four rectangle tabs and one circle tab that'll snap onto the motor. You'll want to line up all these tabs with the corresponding tab on the mirror motor itself. Once it's lined up, you want to go ahead and apply pressure, pushing this down, snapping it all the way into place. You will have to apply pressure to get this fully snapped in. If you have motor type B, the orientation does matter. The latch needs to face up towards the top side of the mirror. Now you will want to insert your stabilization pins into the back side of the glass. If you opted for stabilization pins from Boost Auto Parts, it will come in your package. Otherwise, you can reuse your OEM stabilization pins. Next, plug any wires back into the glass that were originally connected. Now when installing these stabilization pins, you're focusing on the three guides just like this one here. Now the stabilization pin will want to slide fully down on the inside of this guide here in order for the mirror to seat properly. It does not want to go on top or behind the guide here. This stabilization pin will need to slide on the inner part of the guide for all three stabilization pins on your upper glass. Now there are four slots on the back side of the glass. Each of these four slots needs to be lined up with its corresponding tab on the motor mount. Now you will want to angle the mirror motor down slightly. Once you feel the latches drop into the backing on the glass, simply slide the glass towards the bottom side of the mirror and the glass will latch into place. Now with motor type A, you may have this foam gasket on the back side of your Boost Auto Parts glass. You just go ahead and discard this off to the side. You may also have these four small tabs on the back side of the glass. If so, you will want to go ahead and break those off like we show here. You want to go ahead and insert your stabilization pins onto the back of the glass. If you opted for these from Boost Auto Parts, they'll come in your package. Otherwise, you'll want to reuse your OEM stabilization pins. Next, plug any wires back into the glass that were originally connected. Now when installing these stabilization pins, you're focusing on the three guides just like this one here. Now the stabilization pin will want to slide fully down on the inside of this guide here in order for the mirror to seat properly. It does not want to go on top or behind the guide here. This stabilization pin will need to slide on the inner part of the guide for all three stabilization pins on your upper glass. Once everything's lined up and centered, you just want to apply pressure directly in the center of the glass and you'll hear it snap right into place. And just like that, your installation is complete. To get all the parts shown in this video, check out our website at BoostAutoParts.com. Boost Auto Parts offers a wide range of tow mirrors, parts, and accessories for trucks and SUVs. Check us out at BoostAutoParts.com.